Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is titled, Eternal Sonship e Examined. Now when I started this uh, study, uh, it was a topic that was brand new to me. Uh, and I suspect that this subject or this question is probably brand new to most of you. Since in all my years of Bible study, I never came across it until uh, recently. Uh, I suspect that many of you haven't heard of this either. But it is a question, and there are factions on both sides of the question. And basically the question is, is the Son of God, uh, Jesus Christ, the uh, the the identity as the Son of God, the title, and the relationship. Is that an eternal relationship? Has the relationship between Jesus and the Father always been Father-Son? Or did the, the terminology, the status, uh, the relationship of Father and Son in the Godhead did that begin at the Incarnation? So it's a question of eternal sonship versus incarnational sonship. Now, as I said, uh, I didn't know anything about this uh, question or this topic and, until I made this playlist and studied it. Uh, as I went through, I learned a lot and I did formulate a, an opinion and I do have a conclusion, uh, but I don't think that uh, whatever your conclusion is after you watch this series, it really makes no difference to me. Uh, to me, the most important question is, as I explained in my two earlier playlists about the identity of Jesus and the deity of Christ proven, that is really the... Uh, the fundamental question, and, and that is, is Jesus eternal God Almighty? As long as we agree that Jesus is not a creature, he was not created by God, but is God, he is the creator. That is the litmus test. That is the key that uh, I say, this is essential. We must agree upon that because if Jesus is not, eternal God Almighty, then he could not be the Savior because the Bible says that there's one Savior, there's one God, and only God is the Savior. So therefore, Jesus must be God to be the Savior. This is the uh, point that we have to agree upon. Uh, so the question is, uh, before the incarnation of Jesus as he was born in Bethlehem, was he the Son of God, or was he the Word of God, as it says in first in, in John chapter 1? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. That's the question that we ask and ponder and investigate uh, in this series. It's, it's only about 10 hours in length. There's five videos, each about two hours long. So I uh, will be very interested, for those of you who do watch this, in your thoughts and your comments. Bless you, in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.